Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a matte effect using our free Photoshop template. All you have to do is bring in your sample image, copy the smart filters from the file to your image and hit save. So our first step is to place our image directly into this template. We're gonna go up to file and then down here to place linked. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a sample image that's included in your download along with the template. To download all of this for free, just follow the link right down below. So our matte effect O2, let's go ahead and hit place. Fantastic, so that looks great. Let's go ahead and hit enter there. I'm gonna put it in the folder marked place images here. Now, as you can see right here, I have two images set to my base. I have a regular image and then I have an image right above that and that one is set to a lightened blend mode. So we wanna do the same thing in our place images here. And by the way, all of this is in the instructions included in this PSD. So our matte effect O2, we're gonna just duplicate that. So controller command J to duplicate it. We're gonna change the blend mode from normal to lighten. There we go. So we have a normal layer on the bottom and a lighten layer on the top. Right now, the lighten layer doesn't do anything because they're kind of the exact same. Here comes the cool part. All we have to do is duplicate the smart object filters from the template to your images and it takes care of everything for you. It's incredibly easy. So we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click right here on this little double circle. Okay, that's what opens up and gives us all of our options for our smart filters. You can see these smart filters are embedded directly in the template. So when you simply hold Alt or Option and click on this double circle here, we're gonna click and drag it directly to our image. And what you can see is it copies all the filters and all the effects from the template to your photo. We're gonna do the same thing with the top one, Alt or Option, and we're just gonna click and drag directly up above. Now, we're gonna go ahead and scroll that down and we can see the blur is just a little bit too big. So we can simply double click on any of these features. Let's go ahead and double click on that Gaussian blur there. And as I lower this down, we're gonna get an effect that looks a little bit better for this image. So every image is gonna be a little bit different, but this is a totally non-destructive way of working. In fact, look at this. I could turn any of these things off and on if I want at any sort of time. And now all you have to do is save your image out and you're good to go. So what happens if you have an image with a completely different aspect ratio and you don't necessarily wanna put your image into the provided template? Well, you can still use all of the settings from the template on any one of your photos. Here's how you do it. We're gonna start with our background layer. I'm gonna go ahead and right click and go to convert to a smart object. Using a smart object allows me to copy my smart filters from one image to the other. So let's go ahead and convert that to a smart object. And as you're gonna see right here, it is now a smart object notated by the smart object icon. Now we have our background layer. I'm gonna duplicate that and we're gonna change that from a normal to lighten. So we have a normal layer on the bottom and a lighten layer on the top. Now check this out. All I have to do is take these layers from my template. We're gonna click and drag them directly over top here. And then this is the coolest part. I have my blur on the top. I don't even need to make these visible. I have my blur on my top and my base on the bottom. The blur is set to lighten and the base is set to normal. So just the same like I have my image, a normal on the bottom and it's lightened layer on the top. So I'm gonna simply hold Alt or Option and copy the effect. There we go. And we're gonna hold Alt or Option and copy that effect. Now, as you can see, the lighten or the Gaussian blur is set way too high. So let's go ahead and double click on that Gaussian blur. We'll just lower it a little bit to get our desired effect and we are good to go. Now, the coolest thing here is you can go in and turn these off and on at any time. So you can see that's our original image, and there we have our matte effect. Again, I can turn the Gaussian blur off and on. We can change all of these settings at any point in time, and if you want to, you can go and change your levels. And for instance, I might say, you know what? I want a little bit more red in my shadows. Let's go ahead and do that by adjusting our reds and hit OK. To download your sample images and your free Photoshop template for the matte effect, just follow the link right down below. And if you wanna get more free tutorials every single week, click on that subscribe button. We'll send them right to your YouTube inbox. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.